SwiftUI gives us two ways of letting users enter numbers. And the one we'll use here is called Stepper, which shows a simple plus and minus button they can tap to work through number selection in a very precise way. The other common option is called Slider, which we'll use that later on. This also selects values, but in a more imprecise way. It's more gradiated. Steppers are smart enough to work with any kind of value you want to. You can buy them to int and double, for example. So we might say in our content view, we have an at state property, private var sleep amount with a value of 8.0. Then in our view body, we'll make a stepper to show the current value and bind a sleep amount. So pressing plus and minus adds to the hours. We'll say stepper with a label of string interpolation sleep amount, and then hours with a value of dollar sleep amount, like so. I'll run it back in the big simulator so you can see it clearly. I can now step through five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so forth. And you can go as high as you like. You can just keep on adding up and more and more and more. Now, by default, steppers are limited only by the range of their storage, and we're using a, a double value here which means it can store absolutely massive numbers, okay? Now, as a father of two kids, I can't tell you how much I love to sleep, but even I can't sleep the size of a double, right? It's huge. Fortunately, this stepper lets us limit the values we want to accept by providing some kind of in range. We can say, tell me that you slept in the range of four hours through to 12 hours, including both sides. With that change, uh, it's gonna start at a value of eight, but then allow them to go down to four or up to including 12, but not beyond either side of that. This allows us to control the sleep range so you just can't sleep for say 24 hours, for example. They go down, it just stops, and then go up, and again, it just stops. It's very, very gently grayed out there, telling them it's not possible to go any further. You also can't go for invalid times. You can't try and sleep for minus one hours, not possible. There is a fourth useful parameter of a stepper, which is called step. How far to move the value each time plus or minus is tapped. Again, this can be any sort of number, but it does have to match the same type you used for the main value binding. So if you're binding to an integer, your step can't be a double, for example. It wouldn't make sense to go up in halves or quarters if your thing only binds in whole numbers. In this instance, we might say, listen, I wanna have the range of four through 12, but with a step of uh, 0.25. So a quarter hour each time. And I'll press Command R, and this should be starting to look useful now. I can sleep for eight and a quarter, eight and a half, 8.75, nine, and so forth. Working my way through all the hour breaks here. So we've got a precise range of reasonable values and a sensible step, step increment, and users can see what they've chosen as they work their way through. Before we move on, I just want to fix this text here. It says 10.000000 hours, which is far too accurate, right? Um, which is, accuracy is good, but this is too accurate. To fix that, we can tell uh, SwiftUI to format this double for display, simply by saying sleep amount dot formatted. And now it'll remove the excess data. It'll say eight hours or 8.25, 8.5, 75, 9, and so forth. It's much nicer. 